السلام عليكم اجمعين من مختلف مسمياتكم ودرجاتكم ومشاركم سعيد I'm very glad to be here it gives me extreme and enormous pleasure delight self esteem to present here before you for so many reasons first of all my seed of knowledge has been implanted in this city and it germinates in Sudan Right now, uh, it flourishes here in Benghazi. I was in this city, and I was in this city for 10 years. So, it was a great pleasure after 24 years of the struggle. I went back and found my friends and friends, and from them, Dr. Muftah. Allah is the best. So, it's a great pleasure. هذا حقكم وهذا دين يجب أن أسدده في أي وقت متى دعت الضرورة. I will do my best to be a little bit a little bit fast or faster because it is too long session. But fortunately, all those who presented before me has touched some of what I am going to present. Uh, our, my content is history of medical education in Sudan, student assessment, choking, reports, and errors, new competencies and soft skills, conventional assessment tools, which have been earlier uh, mentioned, change inevitability, and excellence. I would like to express my deepest gratitude and regards to Libyan people, Libyan's people, represented by the organizing committee of the conference, especially Prof. Uh, Sunusi, Prof. Tuati, and uh, Dr. Salma Bukhatwa, uh, their kind of invitation and generosity. My appreciation to all my colleagues in Libya International Medical University, especially Dr. Khabab and Dr. Rashad. Uh, my regards to my colleagues and companions uh, from Sudan, Prof. Sahal, uh, Al Adil, and Bahari. Thanks extended to all of our respectful speaker guests and all those who made the existence of this conference come real. Uh, Worthy mentioned uh, those who work behind the scene, uh, the drivers, uh, Badr and Jamal and their colleagues, uh, and media and chefs uh, that uh, uh, gives us uh, whatever is like. Medical education in Sudan at a glance, Sudan experience with undergraduate traced back to 1924 uh, with the University of Khartoum, formerly Kitchener School, and right now there are 66 medical schools or more provide the labor market with medical and health professional task force. Moreover, the number of diverse graduate specialties approaches 26 medical and other health professionals like nurses, uh, laboratorians, uh, orthotics, uh, physiotherapists, anesthetist and so forth. Sudan Medical Council is another entity or another body established in 1955. Sudan Medical Council SMC was and is one of the oldest regulatory authorities in Africa. It regulates the registration of uh, dentistry, pharmacology and uh, doctors. In fulfilling it is mandate, the SMC has the following duties. Uh, maintain modern sets of registries, promoting good medical practice, fostering high standards of medical education, establishing code of conduct and defining family and family with medical practitioners, dentists and pharmacists whose fitness to practice is in question. That is, uh, lawsuits uh, and medical errors and misconducting. Conducting the national licensing examination to all interns and the completion of the internship training uh, regulation. Approving collaboration with the first, the establishment of new medical dental pharmacy schools, so they are accrediting body, uh, and it itself has been accredited by WFME. Uh, ensuring the standards of medical dental pharmacy education, ensuring the medical practice in health situation, and issuing periodically adapt, uh, updating the code of ethics or code of conduct, issuing and periodically updating Sudan national drug formulary. Sudan Medical Specialization Board, this is a third uh, entity. Sudan Medical Specialization Board was established in 1959 with presidential decree uh, to be the national body uh, slowly accountable for the professional degree in the country, which has reshaped really the history of medicine and medical education in Sudan. Uh, to national bodies in other countries like College of Physicians and Surgeons in the uh, United Kingdom, Pakistan, uh, Canada and American Board, etc. Now houses 
a total of 45 specialties in medical field. And right now, it's being described to include other health professionals like dentistry, pharmacy, nursing, laboratory medicine, physiotherapy, midwifery, nutrition, and etc. Sudan Medical Specialization Board uh, in 14, uh, uh, 2014 uh, shouldered responsibility uh, for uh, continuous professional development and subspecialties uh, granting in Sudan. Uh, now we came to our uh, main issue that is student assessment. Majority of educators regard student assessment as an indicator of achievement for the student. As a matter of fact, it is not, it is beyond that actually. Student achievements is in fact evidence of the teacher ability to convey the proposed curriculum, reflects ability of a student to consume and understand its context. Uh, it is in some way reflective feedback of the success of learning process which includes learning environment, curriculum context and delivery, learning strategies, educational method and assessment type. Otherwise, we are not assessing the student alone, we are evaluating the whole educational plan. This is first of all. Second, the students of today are the graduate of tomorrow and employee of the future. They grant reputation to your institution. For where do you come from? I am from Limu. You are carrying the reputation of the institute you belong to. A grant reputation to comprise competitive tasks of, of global market and the evidence of their importance could be obviously deducted from international rating of universities. That is based on alumni, placement, winner prizes, and so forth. And all this comes from the student, our student. I slowly relies on alumni competitiveness research citation, alumni invention and prize, and alumni reputation. This comes here, the importance of the student. Medical and health professional education uh, student assessment, we know that. Everyone here talks about change. World is mobile, progressing and evolving. Knowledge exploding. Evolution of technology, changing and process, uh, progressing of communities. Fluctuating economic and social demographic change requires medical and health professional service provider coping with this transformation and not just change. Weber, a student is a type of evidence granting that he is able to perform ideally and perfectly. Uh, most of the cosmetic assessment tools are proposed to measure main learning domain, that is cognitive, psychomotor, and affective domain, and many tools are used to assess that. A student's affective domain assessment, however, still there is Missing part of the jigsaw puzzle, which behavior, attitude, advocacy, communication, responsiveness, professionalism, creativity, reasoning, and judgment, etc., cetera, uh, missing. In trying to alter behavior, it is essential to identify, evaluate, and document the behavior that you need. Behavioral attributes are presented early in the course and serves to inform the student what type of behavior that expected of him uh, or all of them. It is important that the instructor is clear about these expectations. Shocking reports. In 204, the IOM Institute of Medicine concluded that 50% of cases premature morbidity and morbidity are related to behavioral and social factors. Uh, this report includes uh, mind-body interaction in health disease, patient behavior, physician role and behavior, physician-patient interaction, social and cultural issues in healthcare and health policy and economics. And this is a famous report you are well acquainted of, which is done by Institute of Medicine in 1999, and it is called to Air is Human, in which there has been found 45,000 to 98,000 dies each center because of a medical error. Also, 210 to 440 patients each year suffer from preventable harm to contribute to their deaths. Shocking report also, within six domains, the IOM defined 26 high priority topics such as health risk behavior, principles of behavior, change, ethics, physician well-being, communication skills, socioeconomic inequalities, and healthcare, and etc. And also, American Medical College, and CanMed, and ICGME, all have proposed special competencies for uh, effective domain. 
To summarize the CAMET, seven CAMET competencies which are required by 2020 C next uh, month, uh, that if the student having this in his course, he will not uh, be a global competitor. Uh, as a medical expert, as a communicator, as a collaborator, as a leader, uh, as health advocate, and as a scholar, uh, this is a uh, CAMET competencies that are or have been added. What is wrong with it? I'm so sorry. Professionalism. Okay. A student affective development assessment. Cognitive and psychometric activities are rather easy to optionalize and in behavioral terms. Unfortunately, the nature of the affective domain make it practically impossible uh, to enumerate all of the possible behaviors that represent professional behavior in each area. For this cause, the instructor should give example of acceptable and unacceptable behavior in each attributes, but emphasize that these are examples and don't represent all an inclusive list. The effective evaluation uh, instrument takes two forms, a professional behavior evaluation and a professional behavior counseling record. The professional behavior evaluation should be completed regularly every other week, once or months, by faculty and uh, preceptor for each student. It is recommended that as many as people as practically possible <coughs> as practically, uh, are practically possible to complete this form and that it becomes part of the student's record. The more independent evaluations of the student, the more reliable the results. The medical and health professionals are under increasing uh, inspection with regard to the undesirable attitudes that as we have seen earlier in these reports. Effective domain is not an easy task to achieve. It needs most of the instances uh, indirect assessment tools, some of them are alumni, employer, and student survey, exit interviews of graduates and focus group interviews, retention and transfer studies, graduation uh, and transfer rates, job placement rates, and consumer assessment health provision survey, which we have talked about last day. Uh, table one, and a synopsis of uh, attitude uh, objective in tomorrow's doctor, patient, uh, colleagues, and self. Table two also from the uh, General Medical Council, GMC, in which he emphasizes on patients must be able to trust doctors. All this uh, could uh, be related to the affective domain. <coughs> and the, uh, we are coming to the soft skill. Uh, if we look to a soft skill, some of the most important skills are leadership, decision making, teamwork, communication, and etc. And here is the definition of the soft skills which has come into horizon. Uh, about tools of assessment uh, of knowledge, we have already mentioned. I wouldn't like uh, uh, repeat them again. All has been mentioned today for more than once, and this is the. Uh, Testing the validity and ability, feasibility, acceptability, and impact of the test. Learning series, which uh, all this, uh, the whole of the presentation is uh, talking about change. So every thing change, change or you be change. Everything change except change, so change is constant. Everything changes except change. So change is constant. Uh, learning theories, as we have uh, learned in medical education, uh, comes into see domains that is constructivism, behaviorism, and cognitivism. Uh, that are the main major. But right now, there are 15 uh, theories of learning, all facilitating learners. Kolbs, Vygotsky, uh, Pavlov, B.I.J., Skinner, John Dewey, and the list is too long. So we should have to accompany this in our mind when we are proposing a student assessment. Uh, we talk about Bloom's, Bloom's taxonomy. Right now we are talking about revised Bloom. So should we put the creation into account? Creating into account. We, we talk about Miller. Right now we talk about expanded Miller. Miller's extended. Uh, they talk about Miller, as novice, to expert right now we are 
talking about uh, excellent expert, not just expert. Uh, Howard Garner, 19. Uh, uh, 83 has proposed uh, the multiple intelligence as a way of uh, facilitating learning. He proposed seven. And then at the eight, and right now, uh, the frame of mind or frames of mind are 12. Principle of patient and family centered care should be proposed on dignity and respect in for sharing information, collaboration, and participation. Uh, a culture of always facilitates uh, the effective domain that we should have to be committed to excellence, measure the important thing, build culture around service, create and develop great leaders, focus on employee satisfaction, uh, build individual accountability, align behavior with goals and values, communicate at all levels and recognize and reward the success. Here is one of the most important tools that uh, gives feedback from the consumer uh, who uh, assess our effective domain in the real place uh, field of work. Uh, it is composed of uh, so many domains, nursing communication, doctor communication, responsible office, hospital staff, pain management, and here is objective and not subjective uh, kind of rating uh, in Likert scale, uh, which assess uh, the behavior uh, and attitude of the health providers, all of them. Things we want to hear from our customer. If we hear this from our customer, we know that we are in an excellent uh, institution. They, they were attentive to my friends and family. They actually cared. Everyone was very friendly. They never made me feel like uh, they were too busy, and so forth. There comes a point you have to stop pulling people out of the river, get upstream and find out what they are falling in. As a conclusion, regarding student uh, assessment, we should have to blend a right mix of tools and to obtain holistic view of the student's knowledge, skills, and attitudes, bearing in mind one size doesn't fit all, some methods work well for one program office, but others were not trying to do the perfect assessment all at once. Take a continuous improvement approach and allow ongoing feedback. It is not about scores, financial indicators, public reporting of always. It is about compassionate care and saving lives. Our degree is just a piece of paper. Our true education is our attitude. Thank you.